guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's going to be a little bit of a different kind of tutorial. Um, it's not really a tutorial, it's kind of like um, my favorites for the last couple of months. Um, I know there's like a lot of products that I use that um, is actually my favorite all year round. It doesn't really matter what month it is, doesn't matter what time of day it is, what or not what time of day it is, but it doesn't really matter. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so first let's start off with the fact that yay, I finally cut my hair, ah! um, which is totally fantastic. I'm in a new spot. This is technically my nook. Um, I moved myself over to the window. I now have a mirror on this wall. I have my makeup back here. Still need to get a new chair and I'm still, I still have to get my lighting. Um, so if this video is a little bit darker, I'm sorry. Uh, plus, I'm filming at like 6 o'clock at night, and as you can see out the window, well, it looks kind of bright on camera, but it's kind of, you know, the sun's getting ready to go down, it's fall, all that stuff. So, um, so yeah, so I basically just wanted to let you guys know, I'm sorry, I haven't done a tutorial in a while. I had a really busy weekend, and I had some crazy stuff going on. Um, I was actually super busy again today, and I did not get the chance to film. Uh, so, yeah. So I basically just wanted to do like a favorites. It's not a favorites tag. It's just my personal favorite products that I love to use, whether it's on a everyday basis, it's a, on a, you know, a monthly basis and every other week basis. So if it's something new that I just purchased, that's like my favorite thing that I just love so, so much right now. Um, so yeah, I basically just wanted to let you guys know what my favorite things are that I love to use. It kind of reminds me of the song from, if you guys know the sound of music, these are a few of my favorite things. Because I'm so cheesy and corny like that. Okay, so first let's start out with, I don't have a huge skincare routine. I have a basic skincare routine. I, I think I've told you guys before, I wash my face with Aveeno every single night, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I use my Neutrogena Microdermabrasion thing that I showed you guys a couple a couple videos ago, two or three videos ago. Um, and then I always moisturize at night with the, they're still my samples because I am like holding on to them for dear life so I don't have to buy any. Um, my favorite nighttime remedy for my skin is the Too Faced R uh, Hangover, the RX Hangover. Love this stuff. Um, and I got like four of these from Ulta, like, I don't know, six months ago. And I still have, I still have two of them left and I just love them. They're great. And I just don't want to have to buy any. So, um, I'm, I'm using as little as possible. And then my favorite one to use, my favorite moisturizer to use in the morning is the Aveeno. Like I've told you guys before, is the clear complexion only because I can't really use anything that has salicylic acid in it. I have to be really careful with what I use on my skin because my skin is so super, super sensitive. So I'm just like, I try, it's, I know it sounds so basic. Um, and for my age, technically I should be using eye cream. I should be using serums. I should be using this. I should be using that. <clears throat> I have Italian skin. My skin's fine. I'm not worried about it right now. And I will say today I have ridiculously like puffy eyes because I went to bed so late last night and had to get up so early this morning. So I'm like a little on the puffy side. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully by tomorrow it'll be gone. I'll try to get a good night's sleep tonight so that when I do it, if I do a tutorial for you guys tomorrow, hopefully it will be, you know, my, I'll be de-puffed. De-puffed, if that's even a word. De-puffed? I don't know. But I will say one thing. Before I get back into my favorites, I just purchased, I don't know, I would say probably the middle of September. I think I showed you guys the little small sample of the Color City HD powder that I was using to set my under eyes with and wherever else I put my concealer. Um, and I just bought the NYX one, the HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. And it's the pure mineral, I don't know, maybe it's my skin, it's the mineral powder. Uh, I don't know if it's my skin, but I don't like the way it's been setting on my face. And I don't, I don't know, maybe I'm, if I'm using it, maybe I'm using it wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm using it the way the directions say to use it. 
set your foundation, set your concealer, set whatever you need to set on your face. I have no idea. So I'm not really sure. So what I'm going to try to do is maybe use like a thicker foundation, maybe use a little bit of a heavier foundation, and maybe that will help. Um, I don't know, maybe because today I did such a, I used such a light foundation today, I barely put on any powder. Um, I mean, I, my eyes look super dark today, but again, that's because I'm tired. And I think that because the way the lighting is starting to become, I don't know if you guys can see me in my window, but it looks a little bit better in the sun. I don't, I don't know, whatever. I'm just crazy today. So yeah, hold on, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee because I'm dying for this. Mm. Munchkin. Munchkin. <clears throat> Munchkin's hanging out in the room with me today. Okay, so anyways, back to my favorites. Okay, so this is a, I'm not sure yet. I'm still testing out the waters with that one. And it's, you know what? It's exactly the same as the Color City one that I was using, so I have no idea. Maybe it's just, maybe my skin's just not taking to it right now. I'm not sure. So my next favorites, which is my favorite basically every time of the year. My husband's so sweet. He got me a new one. Um, it's a small one. It's the Professional, the Benefit Professional. Love this stuff. I love the way it sits in my pores. I love the way it fills in my pores because I have huge pores right in this area, right here, my nose, and then right on my chin, like right in this little heart shape right here. That is, those are my like big pore spots. So I find when I take that and as opposed to rubbing it, you press it into your pores. It fills my pores in so nicely that when I go to put my foundation on, can you hear that? It goes all the geese. Maybe having my window open isn't the best thing in the world to do, but whatever. Um, you can see hear the sounds of nature in the background. Oh, whatever. Um, so, yeah. Ooh, are you all right? You okay? It's okay. Do you want me to kiss your boo-boo? No? She dropped a picture on her toe. Uh, okay, so yeah. So that's one of my favorites. Uh, my next favorites is going to be, and the small one of this is only $10. Um, they have like the really big one that I think is like $35 or $40, but that, I bought that, the last time I bought that was in the end of April, and I just had to get it again. My husband just got it for me again a couple days ago. So, yeah, I mean, April, May, June, July, August, September, <laughs> six months. So that lasts a really long time, even for that little tiny tube, but you buy whatever you want. So my next favorites. I'll have to say, because I have two for right now, because I just can't get enough of foundation. Like, I just, like, I try so many foundations. I love so many different foundations. Um, there's just so many foundations that I just, I love. And they're cheap foundations. They're not, you know, these high-end foundations at MAC. I personally don't like I don't know. I just, I find them, I find them all to be fantastic. I love high end. I love low end. Uh, I, I don't know. If my skin wasn't so sensitive, I'd probably use stuff from the dollar store. Um, but my favorite right now is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. Whoa, hello. Let's talk about a super close up there. And this is in the color 310. This is in the sun beige. This is one of my favorites as of right now. My next favorite, as you guys know, is the Ready Set Gorgeous. And Right now, I'm still kind of a, a 220, but I can go into the 210, which I'm probably going to start using soon because it's a lot lighter. Uh, my skin isn't super, super dark in the wintertime. I'm not like my mom who has oil, who has olive oil complexion all year round. It looks tan all year round, but whatever. Um, all right, so then my next favorite favorite is the um, Maybelline Master Conceal, which is the new concealer that just came out. And this is in the color 30 Light Medium. This is my favorite because it hides. I actually didn't use this today, which is probably another reason why my eyes look so dark and puffy. Um, so that's my next favorite. <clears throat> and then for blush, I actually ended up getting the e.l.f. palette in the darks, which I don't know if you guys can see these colors, but they're beautiful. And I will say these are super, super pigmented. Pigmented. Is pigmented a word? They have a lot of pigment. In <laughs> and this is why I need coffee. They have a lot of pigment. I don't know if pigmented is a word. I would look it up, but I really don't care. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so they, they're very, they are very, 
they have a lot of great pigments in them and they're beautiful colors. Um, and this whole palette, this whole palette was $6. And look, there's even one in there that sparkles a little bit. I love it. This palette is definitely one of my favorites and this is probably going to be the palette that I use for the entire winter because as you guys know, I use more of the softer, more pinkish colors with highlighter in the summertime and you know, stuff like that. I typically don't use a highlighter in the summertime. Sorry, my phone was totally just vibrating. Somebody was calling me. I forgot to turn my phone on airplane mode. Um, actually, hold on a second. I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> okay, because I haven't gotten a camera yet. So, okay. And then next is my favorites for a highlighter for the summertime for the winter time is I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get at it is the little, remember the little Sephora one that I got, that my mom got me for Christmas? I don't know the name of it. I, I It doesn't even have a color. There's no sticker on the bottom, see? So we can't do... She got it at Sephora. That's all, that's all I got for that one. So then, of course, obviously, my all-time favorite mascara would have to be the Too Faced Better Than Sex. This is my... Every single day, my favorite, 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 favorite mascara. This is without a doubt a mascara that I will probably use for the rest of my life. Uh, and then, as far as lashes go, because somebody had asked me what my favorite lashes are. Now, I'm not a lash person, person, I'm not a lash person, a lash person <laughs> on a daily basis. There are days where I, I mean, there's, I go months sometimes without wearing lashes. I'm just not that kind of, per I have very long, very thick eyelashes to begin with. So I just don't, I don't use lashes all the time. But if I had to choose lashes to wear every single day, no matter what look I was going for, whether it was a glam look, it was a dress down look, it was just a, you know, just a quick like foundation blush a little bit of shadow and lashes, it would definitely be, definitely be the Ardell Glamour in the Wispies. And can I just tell you how I finally found these about, I don't know, a month or two ago? Probably about two months ago. I finally found them in the store. I bought two packages. They were buy one, get one half off. And I'm like, you know what? I better get them now because if I go to do a tutorial where I want to use the wispy lashes and I don't have a pair or the pair that I was using ran, you know, like they're, un, you know, not usable after, cause after a couple of washes, after, after a couple of times of cleaning them, you really do want to just throw them out because they just, they don't hold the glue. They don't look right. And don't ever wash your lashes. I made this fatal, fatal, fatal mistake. Don't ever wash your lashes with eye makeup remover. because they go, and I even use an oil-free eye makeup remover. I don't know if it's because they're just store brand. I don't know, I, I, don't, know. I don't know. So then I found using warm water. I just put the lashes in the middle of my palm, take a little bit of warm water, like kind of like just keep putting your finger under the sink and just rubbing it in, get the, cause if you, cause sometimes people will apply a little bit of mascara just to kind of connect their real lashes to the fake lashes. So I found, I just got makeup all over me. Um, I found that if you just use a little bit of warm water, gets it off just like that. Boom. And then just lay them out and let them dry. And they'll be fine by the next day. So, okay. So we talked moisturizer. We talked foundation. We talked, I didn't talk powder because I don't really have a favorite powder that I use, like an everyday setting powder. Um, with the exception, I mean, the one that I use every single day is the CoverGirl Profes professional powder, the loose powder. This is my favorite, I mean, it's just a powder, so it's really, you know, I find that any loose powder is my favorite, and I think it's because I have oily skin. I think that's why. And I do, like my powder, like my powder that I take with me to go, if I'm like, you know, gonna be out all day and I feel like I might need to, you know, just kind of up my, up my makeup a little bit, is the True Blend. The CoverGirl True Blend in color, I don't know. Number three. Number three. This is my favorite. Um, I don't, I can't say anything about favorite lipsticks because right now I'm still on the fence with dark, 
color lipsticks, if you guys can tell. Still rocking the pale lip. I don't know what's wrong with me. I have like 15 dark lipsticks behind me. I do my makeup and I'm like, oh, I feel like, and I don't know if it's because my hair is so dark. I feel like a vampire. I don't know. I don't know. I just can't. Maybe now because like my hair is different, maybe I should try it. Um, maybe if I try doing like a little less with the eyes and a little more with the lip. I just feel like every time I walk out of the house that people are like, did you see her lips? Yeah, that's, a kind of, <laughs> that's how I feel the reaction that I get from people sometimes. But anyways, so I think that's, I think that's really all I had to say. Uh, favorite brush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's talk about this one really, really quick. The e.l.f. Total Face Brush. I got this brush for one dollar, people. One dollar. My favorite brush to blend my, now, I mean, to blend all my, you know, my, my powder in. Now, I, these are all my blush, these are my face brushes. I mean, with the exception of my blush brush, but, like, these are all my brushes that I would typically use to either blend my, my face, you know. And the one dollar one is my favorite. Go figure. The cheapest one is my favorite. I love it. It's great. So let me, let me know how you guys think about this, like, area. I mean, obviously, I'm going to try to do, um, hold on. Mm, pumpkin spice. It's so warm, cozy, even though it's not really cold out right now. Um, yeah, so just let me know what you guys think of this area. Um, I'm going to try to do a video tomorrow, hopefully, uh, when the sun is shining and, uh, hey baby girl, I love my munchkin. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do it more when it's like during the day tomorrow. You want to sit with me? Yeah. Ooh, heavy girl, heavy girl. Say hi everyone. Hi everyone. <laughs> little face um yeah so I'm gonna try to do a tutorial tomorrow uh in this area where it's a little bit better lighting maybe I'll try to do it like because I can't do it like first thing in the morning because she has to go to school tomorrow and my husband will be sleeping so I'm gonna try to maybe do it when he leaves after he goes to work so I don't know maybe the lighting will be a little bit better uh I am gonna order that one light I'm not gonna order I was gonna order like the I think it's the two or three light kit, but I just don't have enough room for three lights and I don't want this entire area being taken over by lights. So I am gonna get the, at least get the one. And it's not expensive, it's only like $27. So I'm gonna do that. And yeah, I think that's basically it. That's all I have for today. Uh, I will definitely get a tutorial video up for you guys tomorrow. Oh, and of course my other favorites is the Morphe 35W palette that I just got which you all already know about, and I will do a tutorial on that as well. Uh, the, I did, what did I do? I did those purples with it the other day, right? Yeah, well, we'll do something fun with that one. Um, so yeah, so I basically just wanted to hop on really quick so I didn't want you guys to think that I forgot about you guys. Uh, I wish I could have done a tutorial today, but I just don't. I don't want to do it now because the lighting, you guys wouldn't even really be able to see anything unless I'm like, in the window like this, like, hey guys, can you see what I'm doing? Can you see this eyeliner I'm using? How about that mascara? <laughs> so, I'm not going to be able to do that today. But at least I have the chance now, you know, at least I got the chance for a few minutes to at least say hello. I wanted to take at least 20 minutes out of my night to say hi to everyone and tell you all that I miss you so much. And I'm really sorry. And I hope you guys like my hair. Let me know what you think. Uh, and yeah, I think that's really it. Mm. So... That's all I got. You got anything to tell them? <laughs> <laughs> She's got nothing. She's got nothing. Except for allergies, huh? I got a fart. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I got yeah. a fart. There's, oh, there's she got... Quick. Here, bring it to me really quick. It's disgusting. It's disgusting what she got. Come here, bring it to me. Ah. What did you do to it? Let me see it. Okay, so this is what she goes to her father's every other weekend, and this is what she comes home with from her dad's. Ready? 
Clarp. Clarp, yeah. Clarp, yeah. That's Clarp. what we play with all day long. <laughs> so, anyways, now that you guys have seen a few of my favorites, it's not a lot, just a little bit. Um, and it's basically stuff that I've talked about and that I have done before. Um, all right, that's enough. No more. If I come up with anything in the in the in blah, 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 in October that I like am like whoa about, I'll definitely let you guys know. But as of right now, it's just my it's my basics. It's just my basic stuff, my everyday stuff that I love, 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 love. Um, so that's basically all. Oh, look at the little mixer. How cute. Little Shopkins. Aren't those so cute? Looks like my KitchenAid mixer downstairs. Only mine's not purple. It's white. So cute. Okay, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go have some Din Din and go hang out with Miss Tizzy Lish over there before it's time for her to go to the night. And I think that's all I have for today. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, tell your friends about me. We got lots of stuff to talk about. I'm going to get ready to start doing some Halloween tutorials. I know I said I was going to do it probably like the end of September, but I just don't have time. Or I didn't have time, I should say. I'm going to try to do one. Maybe I'll throw one in sometime this week. Maybe Friday I'll do one. Maybe. I don't know. I'm getting, ugh, I have to get two more teeth filled on Friday. So we'll see how my face is doing by then. If not, maybe I'll do one Thursday night. I'll try to do one. Maybe I'll try to do one Thursday night. Or I'll even try to do one sometime on Saturday. I think that's all I have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I love you all. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.